Okay, finally, after a long time, I'm back with another simple customization video for GNOME. And obviously with my very favorite Everforest GTK theme. So by the end of this video, your desktop will look like this. And as usual, before I start, you will get GUI theme installers in the description below. You can download from there and apply this theme pack with the help of the installer. And it takes care of literally everything, starting from the theme itself to the con key, dependencies, wallpaper, icon pack and more. It also installs the required extensions and applies the configuration whatever I did in this video. And if you ever think that you don't really like the theme pack or maybe want to uninstall it after some time because you like something else, and you can do that next time when you revert back to your original settings because this theme installer automatically takes backup of your system state or the theme state of your system with the help of Evolve when you start the initial installation process. So you can have just complete peace of mind. Theme installers are only available through a Patreon membership and right now there is a limited time offer of 30% discount with a coupon code that is in the description below. Do check it out from there. Now if you don't want that, you can also uh, get the config.zip for this uh, theme pack and actually skip a major portion of the video and apply the config with the help of Evolve and it will install the theme, uh, modify themes, icons and everything including the extensions on your system and in the last part you can just watch the con key uh, how I've created that and apply it yourself. Now this theme pack can be applied for any Linux distro. I'm currently on Fedora 41 and it doesn't mean that this video is only meant for Fedora 41. You can also apply it for Ubuntu or any other operating system that basically has to run GNOME. Specifically the version of GNOME that I'm running that is GNOME 47. Uh, probably this video would be compatible with 45, 46, or maybe even 44 uh, or more like all 40 series of GNOME. This video or the theme pack was created for GNOME 47. Okay, first I'm going to install Evolve. Now, those of you who don't know, Evolve is a modern GTK theme manager. In order to install Evolve, you'll just have to head over to uh, the web browser and search for bit.ly slash Evolve GTK. That's all and here you will get the download link for evil version 1.6.1 and install it make sure to have the latest version of evil running because the latest version has a, has a lot of new features okay so let's open evil and the first step that i'm going to do here is just head over to the theme store and install a theme from there so as you can see, we have the hand-picked hand theme section already. We have the Everforest GDK theme available from here. I'm just going to install it. And here we just need to wait for maybe a like few seconds and it will fetch the Everforest GDK theme and install it with the official script. So as you can see, the script runs and it is installed. So let's head back. I'll just refresh the page maybe. And there we have it. Here we have the evergreen, sorry, the Everforest Dark. This is the original Everforest theme. That's all applied. Now, the one thing that I don't really like about this theme is the shell theme. The shell theme does not really look good, especially the background is a bit too dark. It's almost black. Now, what we can do is just head over to the edit mode of this and change, change this color. this one as you can see it's a, a bit different from dark like we note notice over here it's not completely uh, deep black but there's a hint of blue in it I would like to make it like this and maybe change the color a little bit that's all done now we just need to switch back and forth and as you can see it looks nicer right now Okay, the wallpaper was not showing correctly in Evolve, so I just relaunched the application. Now it works fine. Now head over to icons. So we don't have any icon packs installed. I'm again going to install the Everforest GTK icon. That is over here. So just install it. Okay. 
Okay, done. Now we just need to relaunch Evolve. Icons and as you can see we have Everfor is dark and light. Just click on Everfor is dark and it will apply the theme accordingly. So here we have the Everforest icon pack theme applied. All done. Okay. Now we need to install certain extensions. I would have used uh, dash to dock for this, but there is a bit of a problem with that. I'm going to show you. So just search for, okay, let's search for dash to dock. Oops. Oh, we had it there. I'm going to install both. So let me show you. Okay, it's already installed dash to dock. And we need this one too. That is the dash to dock animated. We need this one, not dash to dock. And I'm going to show you the reason. And as you can see, it installed over there. So uh, the problem with dash to dock is let's enable. Now, as you can see, I can't really put a spacing or like make it floating. It sticks to the edge of the screen and uh, there is no option over here to maybe like make the dock floating which makes it look very bad might be it is hidden somewhere inside the settings but I couldn't really find uh, like find it so I switched to this one now uh, the advantage is that you also get some animations and stuff I've actually turned them off for this theme because they don't really go well with the current theme that is why uh, here is the setting that I did I'm going to reset everything and show you again so that it's like you understand how it looks like initially after installation that is this one it's it's looking a bit weird but okay so uh, let's go to general and we are going to so turn off animate icons so they are turned on uh, by default just turn it off and head over to style maybe reduce icon spacing keep it the same okay here we have edge the distance and yes the dock padding so i'm going to increase the padding over here maybe just increase it completely to max also let's position the dock properly on the screen I'm going to position it to the right side. Where is it? Okay, here we have it. Right side. Okay, sometimes the dock misbehaves like it is doing right now. Uh, it again goes back to normal. I don't know why it does that. Here we have the icons option. So, turn on favorite apps only which will reduce the size of the dock make it look cleaner and that's all what we did for tweaking the docks uh, i mean dock looks nice okay the next is frippery what is the name of the clock let's search for frippery we will get it in the results here we have the Frippery Move Clock installed. We will just shift the clock to this side. That's all that it does. Looks clean. Okay, done. Now let's apply the wallpaper. For the wallpaper, I actually went for uh, from from Pexels. I just searched for like leaves and choose one of them from here so you have a lot of yeah this one this is the one that I installed but uh, there was a bit of a problem with this because it's too bright for the theme and I actually imported it in Lightroom and made, made a bit of modification you know to the wallpaper so this is the modified version and the one that is applied here is the original version right now it's a bit too bright so let me just show you okay here we have the modified version so it's a bit darker a bit of that green greeting is over there so it looks nice and that's all 
let us apply this set as background. So, uh, if I put them side by side as you can see we have a brighter version that is the original one and there is the darker version with a bit of grading to make it match with the current applied theme and also the con key. Okay, talking about the, the con key, let me also show you how uh, I created it. It's also super simple. I have it over here. So, uh, inside the, the assets folder, there is basically this one that is a bgu11.svg. Um, since the last con key video, I actually am using SVGs for this con key because Konki does an amazing job rendering SVGs and it just does the opposite that is a horrible job in rendering like PNG files. I don't really know why but yeah it looks pretty bad. So I'm using SVGs and uh, it is directly editing those SVGs in order to make them show the correct data. For example right now it is showing logged in as uh, Arc Nations for two hours on 26th of November 2024 when I actually created this con key at 1010 and the weather temperature is showing 27 degrees Celsius if I run edit.sh okay I have to run from the outside this directory edit.sh and as you can see it is logged in as Arc Nations for 3 hours, 28 November 2024, 1536. That, is the, uh, that was the time one minute back. Just changed right now to 37. So, uh, this is how it is updated. And it returns the statement for the con key to show. It has the size parameter mentioned. And the same goes for the weather, which fetches everything from the internet and modifies the weather svg weather.svg accordingly and exports it and also returns the con key command so for the weather there is the data.txt as usual you have to set the latitude and longitude of this uh, data.txt according to your location maybe you are in switzerland so just search for latitude longitude of switzerland and you will get it uh, right now i'm in kolkata so this thing is given for kolkata the latitude and longitude of kolkata you just have to set this once and that's all you need not worry about it ever again it will automatically update the weather.svg and show the correct weather uh, another thing that i forgot to mention is the inter uh, font that you need to install now this is basically a google font just head over to google fonts browse google fonts and from there search for inter and you will get the font from here you can use inter or intertight i used inter actually uh, so intertight won't work i'm going to install the con key by running the install.sh script which is going to do all the job for me but if you uh, create the con key oh let me show you the configuration file for the con key so uh, I'm currently putting it at the top left corner of the screen because that is the part which does not have anything looks would look nice and also uh, there is a gap in the y axis 70 and in the x axis we have 30 pixels worth of gap. The minimum height is 360 and the width is 567. Now these are all created according to a full HD monitor that is 1920 by 1080 pixels. I'm assuming most of you guys use such a monitor now if not then you will have to uh, arrange my i mean change it or modify it accordingly it might not look the best might look a bit too small if you are on like 4k monitor but one advantage of svg is that it is scalable so you can increase the size to whatever like pixels it won't matter everything would look sharp and nice now, in the con key, main con key part, we have two uh, script, um, scripts running over here and there is this exec p command. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but what it generally does is that it, it is going to uh, run whatever this, this script returns and uh, as a con key command. So, for example, here we have the two scripts returning two images as a con key command. 
it is going to run it directly inside the con key in order to show and update the images accordingly. So let's start the con key and let me show you how it looks like. Before that, we need to install it. So open in console and dot slash install dot sh. Oops, we are in the assets directory. Just get out of it. Install dot sh. And as you can see, it does the job. And this is how the con key looks like. Now, I think the doc can have some improvement, maybe increase the opacity of the background stuff that is over there. So head over to this one, settings and style. Okay, looks better. So that is all for this video. It was a super simple theme pack that I created myself just a few days back. I was thinking that the original Everforest thing, uh, theme looked a bit dated and I actually myself have grown out of those bordered windows. I really don't like them anymore that much like I used to. So I thought maybe it's time for an upgrade to a borderless version of uh, Everforest and I think this thing looks pretty clean on my desktop. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video, liked the theme pack and that's all. I'll catch you in the next one.